So now after we have our board um, screwed down up against the, uh, the existing post that we installed, we're going to come in here with a piece of scrap material and we're going to tap it so it's nice and tight up against our first course. We're then going to take our fasteners, the, uh, the Trex fasteners, these are the hidden fasteners, and we're going to take a piece of scrap uh, Trex decking and we're going to use it just to hold it up so that it doesn't screw down unevenly so that way our, our next um, run of decking material can fit right into it. So our scrap piece here is just for, to hold it in place while we tighten down the, uh, the hidden fasteners. And we're going to continue doing this all the way down the line till the very end. You don't want to over tighten it because I will tell you this, those Trex fasteners, when you tighten them a little bit too tight, I've had them snap off already on me and then it's a little bit of a pain in the rear end. So don't tighten them down too tight where they're going to snap. We're going to do the, uh, the exact same thing further down. We took our piece of scrap material and we're going to hold it in place. We're going to grab our new Trex fasteners and we're going to put them in there and they're going to take our piece of scrap material, tap it to make sure it's tight up against our first course that we already have screwed down. Once we're sure it's in there fairly tight, we're going to take our hidden fasteners, put them in there, and then we're going to run them down until they're snug, not too tight. All right, we're going to continue this all the way down, and then once we have it finished to the one side, we'll put in the, the next board or the next decking board, and then we'll tap it into place. So uh, let's continue on down the line. Okay, so now we have a few of the boards down. I'm going to bring it up until the, uh, the point over here. We're just about ready to cut our next piece of decking material. I do want to point this out to you. The cut this is fairly easy. You just mark it and we use a chop saw just to cut right through it. It cuts fairly simple. A chop saw I find is the best way to do it, but you could use a jigsaw or a circular saw, whatever works for you. I just happen to use the chop saw. All right, so we have a couple of them down. We're going to continue now until we come over to the next uh, post that we have to uh, cut around. We are going to reinforce in between the joists. You can see where I have the material inside here to stabilize it and hold it a little bit tighter. We're not going to do it on every one of them because some of them are actually much closer than the others. As I said, we added these, uh, these joists in there to the existing joists that were in, in position already. So now we have some of our deck boards down and we come up to the, uh, to the post that we have mounted on the side over here where we're going to have our railings connected. We put the tape on there because as I said before, you can see a lot better with the tape on there when you're marking it. So we lay, put our tape on there. We took our square so we can mark exactly where we may need to make our cuts. We're going to make it a little bit we have a, about an eighth of an inch away from the uh, from the four by four post. We're going to have a little bit of excess room, so we're going to mark it. We're then going to see how far in we need to go, and we're going to mark the depth of the cut that we're going to do. And we'll grab our square now, and we'll mark exactly where it's going to go. We're going to measure how far in. Once we have that measurement, we're going to transfer that measurement over onto the, the board that we're going to put on there now. Okay, and then we have, we mark it. And then we're going to come in here with our square. We're going to run that square across there so that it's a nice straight line we're going to have. Remember, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because the, uh, the, the collar that goes around the 4x4 four four post It'll cover up a lot of this, so we are going to have just a little bit of a, a gap in here just to allow for expansion and contraction. But that's what it's going to look like. That's where we're going to cut out, just so we can get that around the existing 4x4 four four post, which is here. Remember, we're going to take our drill now. We're going to drill a small pilot hole on the very end nice and easy until it grips. Once it grips, then we're going to drill it all the way through. Okay, 
minutes to drill through now. Next, we'll grab our uh, jigsaw. We'll come in here with our jigsaw. We're going to use that hole to put the jigsaw in, or the jigsaw blade is going to go in through that hole. And then we're going to cut it along that line as straight as we possibly can. So that way it fits nice up against the, uh, the 4x4 post that is already installed. Okay, once we finish making our cut, we can then take the blue tape off, of course, because we don't need it any longer. We'll make sure any of the loose material is taken out of there. And now our, our next uh, Trex decking board is ready for installation. And we slid it in there. We put it around the 4x4 post. We put our Trex hidden fasteners in. We're going to tap the material so that it's a nice tight fit through there. And now once we do, we'll hold our scrap piece in place and we'll drive those hidden deck fasteners all the way down. And that's it. that board is now held. Now we'll continue down the line and do it all the way down to the, uh, to the other end and then we'll continue with that. And as you can see now, we have a nice gap around there. Our, our sleeve that goes over the top of it is going to cover this up, and you'll, you'll have plenty of room for expansion and contraction. All right, let's continue uh, down the line, and we'll keep on uh, installing these boards until we get up to the next post that we'll need to cut around. Okay, next we're going to take our measurements for where we're going to put our other board. We need to cut the length first, so we're going to cut the length down properly. Once we cut the length down, then we'll come in here, we'll mark it with the tape, and then we'll do our cuts as we did on the previous one. Now this Trex decking cuts fairly easy. We marked it, we're going to bring it over to that chop saw, and we're going to cut right through it, and this cuts very, very easily. All right, let's bring it over there, let's mark it with the tape. We'll, we'll transfer the marks from the tape, I mean from the 4x4 itself, over to the taped area, and then we'll come in here as we did before, drill a small hole in it, and then cut it out with the jigsaw. Next we come up to the stairs where the one step is going to be coming up to the, to the primary deck. As you can see, the angles on this are not a, a very uniform angle. So what we need to do is to come in here, we lay our deck board in place, we then take our piece of scrap material, lay it up underneath there, mark exactly how far the overhang we wanted to have on there, and then we'll take it over to our miter saw, and we'll use our miter saw to cut it exactly at the angle that we needed to. 
All right, so that's what we're up to now. Let's finish up our deck, and uh, and then we'll proceed to the next step. And I just want to show you something real quick here. Um, this is actually what happens when you have wood that's touching up against the, the dirt without having a metal cleat on there. The insects get into it, and they bore out the bottom of it. Now, this was probably termites or carpenter ants or something like that. But you can see it just chews it apart. So make sure you put that metal cleat okay. underneath the bottom to give it a separation okay. from the concrete up to the wood okay. itself. You'll have just that metal piece in there. And this is not just on one piece of wood. This was on all the 4x4s. And you can see the one in my uh, one hand there, the split down the side of it. Once the wood in the center is, is worn away or eaten away by the insects, the wood itself is then has no real strength to it and it just winds up splitting right down the middle. So make sure you use those metal cleats on the bottom of it to give it that, uh, that separation between the concrete and the new wood. All right, let's finish up the rest of the deck now. We're cutting everything with the miter saw to the, uh, to the correct sizes. We're gonna make our cuts again. I'm not gonna bore you with that. You've seen me do it a couple of times already. I'm gonna make all of our cuts and get our new pieces of uh, decking down. And once the decking is down, then we're going to proceed to putting up the uh, the sleeve, the covers, over the posts and cutting the post to the correct length. Again, it's just cuts very easy with a chop saw. It's not a big deal. But that's what it looks like right now with the new decking down and all the hidden fasteners. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this deck up and we'll go on to the next step.